I'm here at Red Hat Summit with Paul Dardo of Dell. And Ceph is something that I've talked to a lot of people about here. And one of the things that I'm interested in is how uh, you could run databases on top of Ceph. And I, I'm assuming because I'm talking to you from Dell in the context of using PowerEdge servers. Right. So tell me a little bit about that. Database workloads are a little bit tricky in the sense that for a lot of people, the expectation may be that you require really low latency. So I think that the biggest thing is to um, essentially kind of consider carefully what the workload is, consider what the database requirements are for the, your application, and make sure that the hardware is sized appropriately for your, your application needs, for the expectations you have for throughput, the expectations you have for latency. Um, I think those are really kind of the, the, the best rules, but running database workloads on Ceph with PowerEdge is a great combination. So how would how would somebody think about that in terms of like what, what sort of hardware would they be looking at? Because I mean PowerEdge comes in lots and lots of flavors. Exactly. So I would recommend that just in the general case uh, an all flash configuration on PowerEdge would work really well. In fact we just recently did a um, pretty extensive reference architecture using an all flash configuration. So we had a small four node cluster with uh, all SSDs and NVMe backing journals. And we got some really, really good performance. We refer to that as our cost-optimized configuration. And we're, we're very, very pleased with the results that we got. We're also working on an all NVMe, which we would expect to have higher performance, but of course at a higher cost. So it really comes down to what the requirements are. And, and in that context, I know um a lot of the uh, server companies are, are talking a lot about how Intel Optane is making a big exactly. difference in, in performance, yes. particularly around databases. Is that something um, Dell is seeing as well? Yes, it is. And so uh, one of the things is that we have to be careful that we're, we're really cautious as a company that the drives that we sell to customers are qualified ahead of time. And whenever we were looking at the hardware configuration for our reference architectures, at the time that we picked our hardware to order it, the Optane was not qualified at that point in time. But I understand that it's uh, due to be qualified very shortly. So if I were to be starting this afresh, brand new again, I would most likely be looking at putting in Optane cards in there as well. And is there anything particularly unique about Ceph that would make you choose a one configuration over another? I, I guess the, the biggest thing is, so in a, in a sense, yes. So since Ceph is strongly, uh, has a very strong consistency model, replication is critical to the function of Ceph. So I would say that having a really good network infrastructure, and ideally really a separate network for replication purposes is best for Ceph. Um, and then, you know, today based on the performance cost and all that, I, I, I would suggest people look at even higher, uh, to go no, I mean, 10 gigabits I think is really bare minimum, but if someone's looking at essentially setting up a brand new infrastructure, particularly for database workloads, I would suggest higher and potentially even 100 gigabit if, if that's uh, something that can be worked in. All right, well, thanks Paul. Yeah, you bet, thank you.